Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Blender. So let's start. First press A and press X and delete. Okay. And go to the add mesh and click on cylinder. Go here. Increase the number of vertices to 64. Uh, increase the radius to 3 meter. Uh, decrease its depth to 2.5 and rotate along y axis to 90 degree okay so we got this thing after that select this object press tab go to the face action mode select the front face press 3 on your numpad now press i to make it small after that press g set and 2 okay so here we got it and press E extrude it up to 0.5. Now press tab to exit edit mode. Press 3 to view this. As you can see, I can't able to see this thing properly. So what I can do is go here, click on cavity, okay, and click on shadow X-ray. Uh, instead of screen, click on world. As you can see, now I'm able to uh, visualize where it is. Now let's see what we have to do next. Now we have created the one part. Now I need another part that basically goes slides uh, like this. So what we can do is go to add mesh, click on plane, press R, Y, 90 and move it forward, press G and X. Press C on your numpad. After that, press S and Z and scale it like this now press s and y to scale it like this let's make it a little bit bigger after that press ctrl a and apply the scale now press tab go to the words mode select all vertices press ctrl b and click on this workspace Click on vertices, decrease the width, increase the number of segments. You can increase or decrease the width as per your requirement. Okay. In my case, 0.466 is fine for me, but you can increase or decrease as per your requirement. After that, press tab to exit mode. So it looks fine to me. Press 3 on your numpad. Now press tab. Go to the face selection mode. Select this face. Press I. Now insert it. After that, press X and delete the faces. So it looks fine to me. After that, press A and press E. Okay. And extrude it as per your requirement. Let us extrude up to this height. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we need something to extrude out. So before I do that, select this one and press one on your numpad. And let's again scale it along x axis a uh, little bit more. Press G and X. Okay. After that, select this one, click on shade smooth. Similarly, select this one, click on shade smooth. Go here, click on normals. Auto smooth. Now it looks fine to me. After that, I need two cuts here uh, to move it forward backward. So, what I can do for that. Uh, select this one, press tab, press A. Before I apply something, make sure that you apply a mirror modifier and along y axis. So press Ctrl R, make number of loop cut 2, press S and Z. After that, press 3, select this face, press extrude. Okay, so I think up to this height is fine. Now, uncheck the X1, click on here, click on apply. Select uh, this one, press A, go to the mesh and go to the merge, merge by distance. Just in case, as you can see, 96 vertices are there, so they removed. Now press tab. Now what you need to do is, select this one, press tab, select this face, shift S, uh, cursor to be selected, press tab to exit. Now go here empty, 
select the plane axis. Select the empty, after that select this disk. Press Ctrl P, object. So whenever I rotate this object, as you can see, the empty is also rotating. Now, but what I want that when the empty rotate, it just move only in Y axis, not in above and below axis. So what I can do is, select this one, go to the relations, click on copy location and select the empty. As I told you earlier, I just want it movements along Y axis. I don't care whether it moves along Z axis or X axis. So uncheck the X, uncheck the Z. Okay. So if I select this one, press R and rotate it. You can see, oh sorry, select this, press R and press X. So to rotate along X axis, as you can see, it gives me a very good animation. So select this one. Here you can see. Uh, so what I can do now, I need to add two supports here. So for to do that, simply go here, go to the cubes, okay, uh, scale it down, press G, Z. Uh, if you press N, you will see this thing. So on Z axis, press zero, G, Y, and press seven on your numpad. Let's press G, X to move it uh, upward here. Now press tab. Uh, make sure you are doing selection face mode. Select these two faces. Press 1 on your numpad. Go here and click on Access Views so that we can see where we are currently. Please press I. Okay. Now right click on it. Click on Load Tools. Click on Bridge. Okay. Just in case if you don't see the loop tools uh, go to edit preferences uh, click type loop so you will see loop tools so make sure it is checked on if don't you will not see the loop tool options after that press tab and uncheck these two press 3 select this one press g y similarly select this one press shift d g y now what I need to do is I need to rotate this so there are several ways to do it uh, one is I select type the keyframe but it is a very time consuming thing and we are all lazy guys who nobody want to you know do the work for that, for that kind of work so what we can do is go here type hash frame and divide it by 10 so if I click on play ok I select the wrong axis not this one, not this one, okay, make it zero, press control that first, now right click on it and read drivers, so first thing we have to do is make it zero, and zero up to 90, make it 90, and after that select this, press uh, 3, press control A and apply the rotation, okay, now if I try to rotate it, you can see it is rotating, uh, the reason I'm getting that error because I doesn't apply the rotations. Okay, so if I go here and type frame divide by 10 and click on play, you can see it's working smooth and fine, and I don't see face any kind of problems. So it is a good thing. One more thing that you notice that our length is small, so let's increase the length. So press tab to exit mode. Go here. And select this vertices. Make sure this one. Select this one. Press G, Y, and increase up to two meter. Similarly, select this one. Press G, Y, minus two. Tap to exit edit mode. Okay. Now, if I go back and play, you can see our animation is working great now, uh, without any issues. So we have done up to this point. Now let's add some coloring and other parameters. Select this one, go here and select the material as per the requirement. So let's make it blue and make it metallic. Again, we can't able to see, you know, proper glossy. Select this one, click on new, make it black. Select this one. Uh, 
and to make it green, yellow, red, that is fine for me, I guess. Select this one and simply select the red material. Press 3 on your numpad. Now, if I uh, now what I need to do is I need a background and you know lightning and camera. <clears throat> so let's add it. So go to add, mesh, click on plane, scale it as per your requirement. Press G, Z, move it downward. Press tab, uh, select the edge mode, select this. E Z select this axis, press Ctrl V, scroll down and upward or downward to increase or decrease the number of you know bevels. If I press 3, you can see this is a view. Now add a camera. So go here, go to search for a camera. So select uh, as you can see, select your camera here, go here. Now press 0 on your numpad. On X axis press 0. Sorry, increase the X axis distance. On Z axis press 0. And increase the Z distance till you able to see the whole picture. As you can see, now able to see the whole thing. Now I need to add uh, other things as well. For example, the background looks dull. So select the background. New add the let add some lightning so go here and increase the emission strength okay so it looks a little much better now add some lightning so press 0 again to exit the camera mode so go here add a light scale it press r x uh, sorry r y 90 G X G Z and make the power to 250 uh, one more thing as you can see whenever I pop up something it come from here but I want that it come to the origin so what I can do is shift as cursor to the world origin so whenever I add something new they will arrive to the origins now if I click on here click on render image so this is the image i am getting and i am not quietly satisfied with the quality not going to lie so if i click on cycles and click on render image uh, this quality looks fine to me i think let's decrease the some samples rate as you can see its maximum samples go way beyond let's say 20 because i don't want you know very high quality something things so click on here click on render image uh, auto denoise will take care of it rest of the thing you can see uh, it is currently doing the what are the calculations sounding and it is i'm at reach 20 so here you can see i got the clear picture so what you all need to do is go to here instead of PNG use FFPMG increase the FPS as per requirement in my case it is 30 and you have to do 30 encoding as well so go here MPEG4 for MP4 videos and increase the keyframe to 30 you can increase the output quality as per requirement let's say high and simply go here and click on render animation so that's for all so I hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. And the model file is free to download on my Gumroads. Uh, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.